In this video, we will demonstrate how to create a basic study in Open Clinica in less than 7 minutes. We assume that you already have a CRF and now you want to see how this CRF works in real life. We start by clicking Tasks, Section Administration, Item Studies. A screen opens with a list of all studies and above that list is the link Create a new study. A new screen opens where we must provide the first properties of this study. All required properties are marked with an asterisk and for now we will only use those so we will have our study up and running as quickly as possible. For the unique protocol ID we will use something short, TDS007 and for the brief title we'll take experimental study. Default will be the principal investigator and the brief summary is also default. All required fields are complete, so we can click the Save button. After that, we can see our newly created study in the list. Before we can continue with this experimental study, we first must switch to it, and this is done by clicking the link at the top of our screen called Change Study. From the list of studies, we choose our experimental study, and we click the Change Study button, followed by the Confirm button. The screen that opens is the Build Study screen. It shows the seven tasks we have to complete before we can use our study. We will cheat a bit on this one by marking all tasks complete and then clicking Save at the bottom of the screen. Now we go to task 1, which is called Create Study. This is a bit confusing because we already created the study. We want to edit the properties of the study and we do this by clicking the pencil icon. When we do this, the screen Study Description and Status is opened and we will concentrate on the required items, again marked with an asterisk. The first one to provide is Study Start Date and we use the date picker to choose the current date. After that, we scroll down and we see four more sections. We must expand these, otherwise our data will not be saved. We open the first section, Conditions and Eligibility, and of this we use only the field Expected Total Enrollment. We do nothing with the next two sections, called Facility Information and Related Information, we only expand them. The last section, Study Parameter Configuration, is important. Here we set that we will not use the date of birth and that sex is not required. The person ID is not required and we like the study subject ID to be auto-generated and editable. We're finished now, so we click Submit. We are now back in the Build Study screen. Our next step will be to create an event definition or visit. We do this by clicking the pencil icon of the third task. The screen Create an Event Definition for Experimental Study opens and we give our visit a simple name, V1, and then hit Enter or click Continue. We can now choose which CRFs we want to use in our event. And the CRF we are looking for is called TDS CRF with an image. And to find this CRF we type TDS in the filter box and we click on Find. In the new list that appears, we see our CRF at the bottom, so we tick the box and click Continue. In the next screen, we can set all sorts of properties for this CRF in this event, but for now we stick to the defaults and click Continue. In the following screen, we get an overview of the event and we click Confirm and Finish. Now before we can start using our study, we must do one more thing, set the study status. We do this by clicking the select Set Study Status, choosing Available and then clicking Save Status. Our study is now ready and we can check this by going to the subject matrix. At the top of the subject matrix is a link Add New Study Subject. Now remember we configured our study in such a way that the study subject ID will be auto-generated. The enrollment date is defaulted to today, 
sex is not required, but we must choose an event. For this, our choice is limited to the one event we created, V1. And the start date of the event is also today, by default. We click the Add button and a new screen opens with all the events, one in our case, of the subject we just created. To this one event, V1, we assigned one CRF, the CRF with an image. And we can start entering data by clicking the pencil icon. The CRF opens and we can choose a type of fracture, A1, A2 or A3. And if we choose A3, an extra field is displayed where we can add details about the fracture. And there we have it, from scratch we created a fully functioning Open Clinica study in less than 7 minutes.